What is up to a Petra Ranch family? Welcome back to another review here at To A Patriot Ranch. Today, we are bringing you a review of the Tacticon Predator V3. Let's take a look at it. All right, guys. Today, we are taking a look at, like we talked about, the Apex Predator V3 from Tacticon Armament. So uh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up here. Pretty nice packaging on it. Um, some of the stuff you might not be able to see uh, in the light because it is kind of dark, but it's kind of got a cool little um, like embossed logo in there. Really, really good packaging. All right, as we get in here, we've got foam CR2032 batteries the red dot itself and what do we got down in here We've got a Tacticon armament cleaning cloth and uh, it looks like probably an adjustment tool a separate mount and a toolkit um, pretty cool I mean it comes with all of the normal necessary things here um, let's take a look at the mount that comes on it and pull this thing out of here how nice it comes with a QD mount already on it this definitely has almost a almost a Sig Romeo 4 uh, look to it. Um, I'll pull one of those out here in a little bit and take a look. But um, nice lens caps. It looks like they are removable. Yeah. Overall, pretty good. We got the uh, top turret, side turret. This is probably the battery compartment here. Boom, 2032 batteries. Awesome. Let's see how this thing performs. Boom. We figured since we were up here shooting the Scorpion anyway, um, we would go ahead and, and throw this on there. Uh, in full transparency, uh, Tacticon did send me this optic, uh, but I will tell you that there were no guarantees of saying it was good or that I loved it or anything like that. Just a good old honest review of it. That is how I am always going to go. If any company wants to, um, you know, pay me for me to speak good about a product, um, I'm just not going to do it. Not in our world. Um, you know, here in the two-way community, when you talk about the products that, you know, we're reviewing or we're telling you about, for the most part, they're products that we're counting on to save our life. So... I am not going to talk about a product and call it great uh, just because somebody sent it to me. All right. So what is the Apex Predator V3 by Tacticon? Uh, it is a red dot optic, has an all aluminum housing, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, it also has a solar charger on top of it. Uh, great for those occasions where the, maybe the batteries run a little bit too low, but you're still out in daylight. Um, I don't think it's going to do a whole lot of charging for you, but, um, you know, you shouldn't need a whole lot. Uh, this thing is rated up to 20,000 hours. I'm going to assume that's on probably either medium setting or medium low setting. Uh, it does have seven different levels of brightness, including one night vision level. The turrets 
are adjustable by one MOA. The reticle, and I don't know if we're going to be able to to get it in here for you guys to see or not but the reticle in there it does have three different options it has a dot a circle dot and a circle i love these types of optics because uh, i want to be able to use each one of them for a different scenario and you're not having to change the optic all the time it has these uh flip up dust and shield covers on them ah, if it was me i'm probably taking them off here is the battery housing it does take one single 2032 battery uh, which is great because i keep a ton of them in my bag uh, it also has a five minute shake awake and a 30 minute auto off um, you know pretty standard on red dots these days it is a picatinny mount it does come with a quick detach lever which uh i absolutely love out in the field if for some reason you do have to yank this thing off and go to your iron sights you've got that quick detach right there the dot is a 2moa dot um for this type of optic i think um pretty good pretty standard uh, it does come in two different colors it comes in uh, a matte tan and a uh, matte black it is shockproof rainproof and fog proof um i am not going to drop it on a rifle or a pcc today um i just don't feel like fucking up my guns uh if you want to see uh that happen um go over to tacticon's uh youtube and uh you know their guy i think his name's nolan he goes through and uh, beats the ever-loving hell out of these things. So if you want to see that kind of content, head on over there. Um, and I think that pretty much wraps it up on this. The one thing I will say is, you know, when it comes to unlimited eye relief, it's really big for me. Most red dots are claiming unlimited eye relief. This one, uh, so far, it definitely has a, a ton of eye relief. As you can see, I put it really far forward on this Scorpion. So I am pretty darn far and away from it. And um, I have no problems. Uh, the parallax is supposed to be at one MOA. Um, I see no distortion um, all the way out. So yeah, I, I, think, I think to say this is eye relief unlimited, probably a pretty good claim. Well, we're not going to really know how this thing stands up till we go shoot the darn thing. So let's head out and shoot it. Shoot it. I'd say that thing's pretty darn accurate. All right, guys, just got done shooting it. Um, first impressions. So I always take a risk when I do this, but I did not sight in that red dot um, before I went out and shot targets. And uh, it was pretty much damn spot on. Um, you know, rugged, there's no play in it. Didn't move at all. Um, you know, nice dot. I mean, it's it's bright daylight out right now and uh, i had no problem picking up the dot um i will say there's one problem so as i was mentioning you got the the circle and the circle dot or the dot and the circle dot um so it just came back on right now uh it is switching between circle and just dot and i don't know why um it was not touching it was not moving it at all um and the circle would just turn off it's on right now but it wasn't when i just shot the last rounds um so that's weird uh, i don't know if i just got a defective one or what 
Um, but obviously that would be uh, pretty critical when you're out here. And um, like me, I love the circle dot, especially when target shooting like this or steel shooting at least, because you're, you're just putting that circle around center mass and boom, you're hitting every single time. I love that for self-defense purposes too. You know, you don't have to be precise. Uh, you know, if you're going for center mass, put that circle in there, boom, 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 fire away and you're good. So uh, overall, I think it's a pretty decent optic. Um, I'm gonna have to get with them to see if maybe they can send me another one since this one was uh, defective um, so that I can kind of give that, that circle dot an honest review. Um, because other than that, um, I have to give it a fail uh, for the fact that the dot and the circle keep switching back and forth. So um, yeah, that's it for our review today of the Tacticon Apex Predator V3 Solar. Hey guys, want to provide you an update on my review of the Predator V3. So I reached out to Tacticon after having those issues with the circle and dot, and they were able to provide me a new one. They'd actually never even seen the problem that I was experiencing. Uh, after I was done filming the video, I kind of messed around with it a little bit and saw that when my hand was covering the solar panel, the circle would come on. As soon as I took my hand away from the solar panel, the circle would go off. So as I was shooting out there on the range and it was getting hit by the sunlight, the circle was disappearing. So that's what the problem was. I don't know anything about how their optics work, so I have no idea why that would happen. Like I said, they said they had never heard of it before. They sent me a new version. I took that out to the range. It performed uh, flawlessly. You know, everything else I have said about the optic up to this point was accurate. It was sturdy, held zero, didn't move. Love the design of it. Looks, you know, eerily similar to the Romeo 4. Um, and yeah, it, it's, it's a really solid optic. Uh, you know, all manufacturing products are going to have um, some defects that happen here and there. You know, what makes a great brand over a good brand is just not having those defects very often, you know, especially obviously when it comes on products that people could be uh, using to save their life, like we started out this video talking about. So I just want everybody to have the full scope of, you know, kind of what transpired, what happened. They did make it right. The second optic ran flawlessly. And I have a few more products to review from them as well. So let's finish this video up again. If you like what you see here, leave us a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Give us a like and ring that notification bell. I'm John from 2A Patriot Ranch.